having worked for over 20 years with major brands such as Reebok and L'Oreal, Timberland, Bose, and lots of really wonderful major agencies, I've been able to observe uh, branding and consumers' relationships to brands in a lot of different industries. I've noticed a few things. One thing that I've noticed is that every consumer marketing person I've ever talked to has wanted to increase loyalty. They, I've never talked to anybody who said, oh no, I don't want my consumer to be quite so loyal. And with that comes an increase in penetration, an increase in purchase frequency, and of course at a higher price point. But I think that there's one thing that's really been missing out of that, and that is the R. That's the relationship with consumers and customers that brands can have. But we have to remember that consumers choose to have a relationship with brands. They can choose to purchase. And so by really understanding the relationship that consumers want to have with us and with our brands, we can really be much more powerful in the way we speak to them, where we speak to them, and how we become a part of their life. So one is a chocolate truffle. I love chocolate truffles. They're soft, they're chewy, they have probably a gazillion calories, but they're so wonderful. And the type of relationship that I have with a chocolate truffle is a fling, right? It's secret, it's periodic, it's highly emotional, it's really fabulous, but it's something I don't do all the time, right? I don't even want to admit I'm doing it. I'm certainly not going to tell you about it. So if that chocolate company was trying to increase my loyalty and increase my commitment and treat me as a marriage partner as opposed to a fling, there is no way I'm interested in that. I'm interested in this secret affair that I'm having with this chocolate truffle. So for the, the manufacturer and the marketer to treat me that way and to understand that emotional, very powerful emotion that I have with that chocolate truffle and therefore with that brand, they can make their brand that much more relevant to me as opposed to turning me off because they're trying to have a relationship with me or create a loyalty that really doesn't exist. You know, the thing about understanding consumers and understanding the relationships that they want to have is really hard. It's really hard. And that's where I think really having the marketer and the agency working together to figure out how to do that. And if you're a marketer lucky enough to have different agencies, you know, bringing them in and helping us understand who is that customer, who is that consumer, and what type of relationship do they want to have with us. And then the agencies can help us speak to them appropriately in whatever mediums or whatever places where we are in the most appropriate language and help us implement that in a much smarter way. That combination between the agency and the marketer together can really be powerful.